Hey, today we're doing a review and setup of the Razor Carbon Lux Kick Scooter. Um, I needed a scooter to commute, and this is the only scooter that's, not, that's cheap enough um, and could hold the weight I am. The weight, the weight capacity of this scooter is 220 pounds, which is great. It offers uh, big 200 millimeter urethane wheels, an adjustable handlebar. Um, it's got a kickstand. It's got a carbon textured base. And it's, it's a one-piece design, so it does not fold like other scooters do. Let's get to it and open it up. Open up the box. So it comes in the box. Very nice. I'm guessing this will just pull out. Set that to the side. And then we have our... Razor Carbon Lux Manual. I'll do that later. And then we have the actual scooter base. Very nice. So, this is everything out of the box right now. You have the actual main scooter, you have the handlebar, an owner's manual. And they also give you an Allen key so you can install the um, handlebar onto the scooter. Um, as you see here, the scooter's got some nice urethane wheels. Bearings are really, really smooth. Very nice. Comes a nice kickstand. And we have a nice carbon textured uh, base here. Very nice. And then this is all a solid piece. This is not fold like other scooters will, which I like better because it's more stable. So once you assembled your handlebar, we're now ready to put it on the scooter. On the side of this box right here is a supplied Allen key, which you're going to use to install the handlebar onto the scooter. We're going to loosen these two screws on the bottom of the post to prep it for putting on the scooter. So loosen it enough to where it doesn't come off totally, but... Okay, that should be good enough. Now we're gonna pop, pop this clip off, and push up on the handlebar. To extend it out. Perfect. So once you have your handlebar extended out, we'll slide on top of the scooter. Perfect. So now we're going to take your Allen key and tighten these two bolts down. Not all the way since we still have the line the front wheel. Just a little bit, not all the way. Okay, now we're ready to align the front wheel. What I usually do in this step, as I jump over the scooter, retract the post, put my two feet in front, and I'm going to tighten the front wheel with the post centered, as good as I can get. And I'm going to tighten these bolts down while I'm centering the uh, front wheel. Make sure these are really tight because you don't want this coming loose while you're riding. Okay, I'll do it more. Perfect. As you see, that's pretty good. Pretty straight to me. I'm going to go for a ride and test it out and see how straight it is. If not, I'll do the same thing and align it to either left or right.